The New York Jets travel to Nashville tonight to take on the Tennessee Titans on Monday Night Football. BetDAC currently has Tennessee installed as a one-point favorite in this game. 41 is the total. And the fact that Tennessee is favored, Tennessee, who is 4-9, who has lost three in a row, who is 1-5 against the spread in their last six games, the fact that this team is a favorite tonight tells you all you need to know about the public's opinion, the odds makers' opinions of the New York Jets, a team that, despite the fact they're 6-7 and seven and still in the playoff race, as hard as that is to believe, I think there's zero confidence in this team around the NFL, and quite frankly, haven't seen them play a whole lot this year. It's tough. It's tough to have any confidence in the New York Jets, but if you're back in Tennessee tonight, I mean, it's a bet against the Jets, because... There's nothing to like about the Tennessee Titans. We mentioned 4-9, 1-5 against the spread in their last six games. They have the worst defense in the NFL in terms of points allowed. They allow 30 points per game, 29.7 to be exact. As we said, that is 32nd, dead last in the NFL. They've been bad at home. They've lost their last three home games, haven't covered in any one of those games. They're starting a young, inexperienced quarterback in Jake Locker who has not had much success this season. They're going up against the second-ranked pass defense in the NFL. I mean, despite the fact the Jets lost Darrell Rivas early this season, their best defensive player, the Jets have been excellent in the secondary this season. So it's really, really tough to make a case for Tennessee here. As I said, if you like Tennessee, it's just a bet against the New York Jets. And I can understand betting against the New York Jets because despite the fact they're 6-7, and seven, I mean, they could even their record up at 7-7 seven, at seven and seven tonight with a win over Tennessee. The, you know, the Jets have been awful week after week. You know, even though they still have a chance to make the playoffs, they beat Tennessee tonight and they win their last two games against bad teams, San Diego and Buffalo, and a couple other things happen their way, they could still be a playoff team. It still seems far-fetched just because when you see this team play week in and week out, this isn't a playoff team. They don't look like a playoff team. I mean, they've won three out of the last four, but those wins have been against Jacksonville, Arizona, and the St. Louis Rams. I guess the Rams aren't that bad. But a couple of weeks ago, it looked like the Greg McElroy era was ushered in in New York when McElroy came in in relief of Mark Sanchez, led the Jets to their only points in that ugly 7-6 win over Arizona. But then the next game in Jacksonville last week, Sanchez back in the lineup as a starting quarterback. McElroy back on the bench, inactive actually. Tim Tebow back in his normal role as backup quarterback. Remember, Tim Tebow broke his ribs in Seattle a few weeks ago, so his health has been in question these last few weeks. But now, apparently, Tebow is healthy and ready to go. Haven't seen much of him this season, though. He's only thrown seven passes all year, completed six of those passes. His one incompletion, by the way, a perfect bomb that Jason Hill dropped in a primetime game a few weeks ago. You probably remember that, but obviously the Jets don't feel Tebow's the answer. They've seen him in practice every day, and you would think that if he thought they was the be- that if they thought that he was the best man for the job, they'd put him in there. Apparently they don't. They're going to go with Mark Sanchez again this week, even though it was ugly once again last week for Sanchez. We mentioned they put him back in the starting lineup against the Jacksonville Jaguars. He led them to all of zero points in the first half against that dreadful Jacksonville defense. At halftime, Rex Ryan, Tony Sperano, I, I guess they realized they better go ahead and run the football. Uh, Sanchez hardly threw a pass in the second half of that game. They, they really ran the ball right down the Jaguars' throat, and I expect to see more of the same tonight. I do not think we're going to see Mark Sanchez throw more than 20 or 25 passes in this game. They're going to, they, meaning the Tennessee Titans, are going to get a heavy dose of Sean Green and Bilal Powell, and the Titans can't stop the run. Of course, the Titans can't stop the run, can't stop the pass. As we mentioned, they're last in the league in points allowed. They can't stop much of anything right now. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if the Titans are able to pull out a home win tonight. I have my doubts. As bad as the Jets have been, and as I mentioned, th- they have been bad. I mean, this team looks nothing like a playoff team. Still, they desperately need the game tonight. They were embarrassed in their last nationally televised game against the New England Patriots on Thanksgiving. This team has been playing hard. Rex Ryan can motivate his guys. Say what you want about Rex Ryan. Say what you want about the New York Jets, but they have not laid down. Rex Ryan knows how to motivate, knows how to, to keep this team playing hard, and I just I have a hard time believing they're not going to be able to find a way to beat the Tennessee Titans tonight in Nashville. Uh, again, the Titans have been so bad this season, and I don't see much, array, much of a ray of light for that team. I, I think they're starting the... I, or I don't want to say the worst quarterback in the roster, but I don't think they're starting the best quarterback in the roster. Matt Hasselbeck just throws the ball better than Jake Locker at this point in their careers. I don't see how that can be argued when you look at the stats, when you look at the eyeball tests and everything else. Now, 
Locker can run a little bit. He provides some athleticism that maybe Hasselbeck doesn't provide. And Locker, they think he might be the future of this team. And Hasselbeck, obviously, an aging veteran on his last leg. So I understand why they're playing Jake Locker still. A 4-9 and nine team playing a quarterback that might not be the best man for the job against the 8th-ranked defense in the NFL, the 2nd-ranked pass defense in the NFL, in a game that the Jets absolutely have to win. You know, I, it's hard to recommend a Tennessee play in this spot. I do lean towards the New York Jets, even though, hey, I mean, it, it's, not the most, it's not the most confident recommendation I've ever made in the world because the Jets, would it shock anybody if the Jets lost tonight? Absolutely not. They just struggled to beat the Arizona Cardinals 7-6 to at home a couple of weeks ago. That being said, bad offense and all, I guess I lean towards the New York Jets picking up a road win tonight against Tennessee and staying alive in the AFC playoff race.